All right, so we're working on the video for Big Paul 64 Don, and uh, we got this uh, half inch uh, stock here that we're building this part out of. And you can see it's really heavily, not only rusted, but the mill scale has got some really thick. And I've I cut this out of some stuff I've used. Turn that AC off. Uh, cut this stuff out of some used I've, stuff I've used in the past, and I know for a fact that this mill scale is particularly difficult and heavy to get off. So, um, and you know, you can you can take a 24 grit, grit flap disc on a grinder, and it'll just clog it up and eat it up in no time. I mean, literally, it would it would take a, a six dollar flap disc to to get all these clean, and it may not even do it. So, I'm going to try a different method today. Uh, seen a little bit of stuff about it online, uh, and we're going to use muriatic acid to chemically um, remove this. And you can use vinegar, but it takes about 24 hours with muriatic acid, uh, 15 to 30 minutes, and it should remove the rust and the mill scale, and then uh, it'll make it easier to prep. So just want to make a separate video about this. Uh, could could become you know something of value to somebody else down the road. So kind of just wanted to to break it out separately. Uh, so quick. All right, well, as you can tell, it's a pretty hot day out here in Texas. And um, you can see we're just using a, a, a plastic cup because uh, the muriatic, muriatic, muriatic acid uh, will not eat through the plastic. Now, one of the things I want to point out is uh, you really need to use proper safety precaution. This video is not meant to give you a detailed uh, information on, uh, on safety, but some things to keep in mind is you want to protect your skin, protect your hands, wear goggles, eye protection, which I do have. Um, you really need to have long clothes on so that your skin's not exposed because if you get this on you, uh, it will burn you. Uh, but again, I'm not demonstrating the proper safety procedures here, only that um, this can work and we're gonna show the results and how well it does work. So I'm gonna pour this slowly so that it doesn't slosh around and, and all. So we're just gonna kinda get it going here. One of the nice things about using a small container like this is, um, you know, there, because the steel's in there, you know, there's not a lot of extra volume or room, so you're not you're really using, we probably used about a, you know, not even a quart, just probably about a pint or so that we poured in there. Um, so we're gonna let that sit uh, for about uh, probably 15 minutes, and we're gonna take those longer pieces and flip them upside down so that they get coated, and we'll check the other ones and see if we wanna pull those out. All right, it's been 15 minutes. Just gonna pull one of these out here to take a look. And you can see it's uh, starting to remove the, uh, the mill scale there. You can see the bare steel underneath it. So we're gonna leave it in there a while. Come back and check on it later. All right, here's an update <clears throat> 30 minutes later. You can see this thing is really uh, smoking and bubbling and foaming and got some uh, serious uh, action and reaction going on there. So we'll pull it out and take a look at it here real quick. Actually, I'll just grab one of these longer ones. Oh yeah, nice and clean now. So I'm gonna flip those around and probably pull the other ones out now. All right, you can get a look at it here now and see that it really, really cleans it off nicely. And uh, the rest that's on there, we'll be able to clean it up really nice with the grinder of the belt, belt grinder over there. All right, so here's what it looks like fresh out of the, um, the muriatic acid bath and uh, did a really nice job cleaning up the mill scale, getting all that off um, and the rust as well. And then here's what they look like uh, after some 220 grit on the belt sander. So, uh, uh, and, and once you put this on the belt sander, just uh, compared to going straight uh, with the mill scale to the belt sander, it just cleans it up so much quicker and easier with the mill scale off of it. So. Just a quick little video on that. Most most guys out there probably know that. Uh, I didn't, I've never used it before. Uh, and something I'll definitely do uh, in the future for removing heavy mill scale when you got small parts that you can fit in a container easily. So, all right, we'll wrap it up.